Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're asked to solve this system of equations. The first equation is 4x plus 5y equals negative 3. And the second equation is 6x minus 2y equals 5. Now, each equation has two variables, x and y. The way we've written these equations, we've lined up the x variables and we've lined up the y variables. We've now to make a choice as to which of these two variables we get rid of. I'm going to choose y to get rid of. And the way we do that is we look at the number of y's we have. We have 5y and 2y. And we're looking for the smallest number that both 5 and 2 go into. That would be 10. So we're attempting by multiplying to get 10y. That would involve multiplying 5y by 2 and multiplying 2y by 5. Now, since we have two equal things here, if we double both of them, we'll still have two equal things. So we double everything on the left and double everything on the right. So two lots of 4x is 8x. Two lots of 5y is 10y. Two lots of negative 3 is negative 6. Similarly, here's two equal things. If we multiply each of them by 5, we'll still have two equal things. So everything on the left by 5, everything on the right gets multiplied by 5. So 5 times 6x, 5 times negative 2y is negative 10y. And 5 times 5 is 25. Now remember, the whole purpose of doing this was to try and get rid of one of the variables, in this case y. And you'll notice that by adding 10y and negative 10y together, we'll get 0y. That term, the y term, would disappear and one of the variables will have gone. And that makes things a lot easier to solve thereafter. So our technique here is to add the two equations. So 8x plus 30x is 38x. 10y plus negative 10y, 0y. So that y term disappears. Negative 6 plus 25, that's like taking 6 from 25. That'll be 19. Now you divide both sides by 38. So we'll end up with 1x equals 19 divided by 38. In other words... A half. So we've tracked down the value of x. So let's put x equals a half into one of these equations. I'm just going to choose the first equation. So what does that mean? Instead of 4 times x, we'll have 4 times a half because we know the value of x. We don't know y yet, so 5 times y will add, and we know the result is negative 3. Now 4 halves are 2, so we now know 2 plus 5y is negative 3. And let's subtract 2 from both sides. 5y would be negative 3 minus 2, think of your number line, negative 3, and we subtract 2, we get negative 5 and divide both sides of this equation by 5, we'll get 1y equals negative 5 divided by 5, which is negative 1. So we appear to have found the two values for the variables, x equals a half and y equals negative 1. And at this stage, you would be wise to check that your answer makes sense. Since we used 4x plus 5y equals negative 3 in the calculation, let's try the other equation. And let's check that 6x minus 2y does indeed give us negative 5. So, 6 times x, we now know x, or we think x is a half, just checking that, minus 2 times, and we think y is negative 1. So let's check the value of this. 6 halves are 3, Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, and 3 plus 2 is 5. So that ties up with the second equation. So it looks like our solution then is x equals a half and y equals negative 1.
So that's Mr. Carsey signing out and thanks for watching this video.